says that was mine. Who does that be person? Oh, thanks. Whispers red. A S M. Hello, this is Emma, and in tonight's video I'm joined by Mia, and we're going to apply some makeup, and Mia's going to do it in her style on me. So I'm going to have the, the heart, yeah, this side, here, yeah. and the eyeliner, eyeliner, the wings, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to see how it looks on me. <laughs> Let's see. And um, do you want to show me all the all the bits and bobs, Mia? Yeah. So I oh, can see your. It's not my colour. It's not my colour. Okay. Because mine's really light. Okay. I think this is quite a light one actually. This is the <coughs> the Tarte um, Fair page. Mine's extra fair. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I have a broken highlighter. Oh yeah, because the cat broke the it. The cat broke it. Mm -hmm. And then I have um, a contour, which is... to cover the mirror. I need to do that. Contour. Uh, more mum's colour, obviously. Mine's mm -hmm. a bit dark. Um, got different eyeliners that I use. These are yours, aren't they? Yeah, these are mine. Okay. Uh, the smaller ones for the heart and the elf one is for the eyeliner because I find it easier to use. Okay, and what brand is this one? That is Barry M. Cool. Yep. Um, and then here is some mascara. This one's not mine. This one's yours. Yeah, so the, the one I normally use is the Tarte one in the purple case and it's run out. So this is a new one and it's Birch Black Volume by Lumen. Is that professional? Yeah. Shall I show the... Yeah, the brush. wand. It's called a wand. The wand, yes. Yeah. Voila. Very professional. Um, and then I've got some NYX lip stick stuff. I thought it was NYX. Yeah. I'm going to say NYX or NYX. Does everyone say NYX or NYX? I'm not too sure to be honest. It's all the same. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then I use that with. Um, some lip balm. What colour is this one then? I'm not too sure. Oh, it's, it's called um, Budapest and it's... It's like a cream matte one. Yeah, soft matte lip cream. Yeah, it's a lot nicer and it's not as um, dry. Okay. And I use that with lip balm so it's not as um, harsh. So it just looks like lip tint. Okay, and this one is called Fru. Fru. Avocado lip balm, and you are an avocado fan. Yeah, I love avocados. So that works. And then I have this is Mum's eyebrow, like dip powder stuff. And it's your colour, not my colour. It's my black. <laughs> but um, it's a lot, it's a lot lighter for you. And that's the Anastasia one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caramel Brow Powder Duo. Wow. Amazing. And then I have loose powder. That is my colour. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to figure it out. But um, it's loose powder. It's from Primark. Um, and it's in porcelain, I think. I believe. Yep. That was nice and... Um, is it shimmery? It's matte. Oh really? Mm. So you've got shimmer on your face, so it's highlight. Ah. Okay. I put it here, 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 here. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere basically. 
It looks good. Yeah, I'm excited. And then I have um, a blush palette, which I only use one colour. This one. And um, it is a revolution one, but it's rubbed off at the top. Don't hold it further up, that's it. Yep. It has highlighters on it, but I haven't it's used The nice colours. That one's really nice. That would be nice as a um, eyeshadow. Yeah. Shall I do some tapping on the thing? Sure. Do you like that, Mia? Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, I think that's it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and all the brushes. And the sponge. And the sponge. But I use my hands usually. Okay. But I'll use a sponge on you, I think, because... I don't mind. No, I don't know. I find it easy to use a hand on me, but I don't know about... So I haven't done someone else's makeup in ages. Okay. Well, let's see how you get on then. Yep. Okay. Okay, so first we're going to do eyebrows. This Anastasia brow powder stuff. Um, what I do is I pinch the brush so it's like really flat. You always get stuff on your hands, but you always pinch it. So I do with my one. Just dip it in. Is my hair okay? Yeah. Okay. I just do tiny. Strokes. But with my ones, because um, they're not, they're quite um, bushy, I would say wild, I like to say. Boyfriend eyebrows, is that what you call them? No, wild. No. Wild eyebrows. I thought there was a special name. No, just oh. wild. What, what, what's boyfriend then? Oh, boyfriend jeans. Yeah. <laughs> So, because my eyebrows are really like bushy, I have to um, shape them first and then uh, go around it like a, a stencil, then fill it in after, like um, you're drawing something. So I basically draw up my eyebrows. But that's why it doesn't take that long for me. I don't really spend that much time on them. So yeah, how, how long do you spend on your eyebrows? Ages. Why? <laughs> Not really. I don't yeah. really need to. Well, they've got the... Um, Semi-permanent. Yeah. And so I just um, pop a little bit around where the hair isn't to blend it all in. Yeah, that's fine. Because uh, I had an overplucked area. For the 2000s? Yeah. Everyone had thin eyebrows. And I remember when everyone started having thick eyebrows. To me, it looked so weird. Thick eyebrows are nice now. Yeah, they are nice. But there isn't like a certain style of eyebrow now. It's more like, um, whatever you got. Yeah. You kind of just do. Like, some people are doing, like, the really feathery ones where you, like, I think it's soap or something. And, um, it's what? They put their, like, brush and soap uh, and you, you, they're, like, sparse eyebrows. Oh, yes. I really like the, uh, the microbladed eyebrows. So, if I'd uh, had mine done when microblading was popular, mm. I think I would have had microblading first, because it looks really good on just fresh, never done eyebrows. Did, did, I thought you had microblading done. I did, uh, well, I had first had them shaded, and then on the thing, the third top up, I asked for some mi microblading on the inside. Right. So we brought them in a little bit further, and I had about three or four strokes on the inside. So I have a mixture now. Hmm. Well, your eyebrows are nice anyway. Oh, thanks, Mia. It's fine. You've always had nice eyebrows. Nice, thick, 
Well, you always want eyebrows to suit your face. Okay. They frame your face. And the tail is done. Yeah. They look like eyebrows. Right to Yeah. And what's next? Do I do concealer? I don't wear foundation. Um, I do sometimes when I'm doing shows or something. I wear foundation. So Mia does musical theatre at college, don't you, Mia? Yeah. So if you're doing um, a performance on stage, then I guess... Because there's harsh lighting. Yes. You will see a lot of your face. Mm -hmm. It's more like you want it to be completely blank. But um, on every day I don't wear um, foundation because I feel like it's very heavy. And I don't really need it. So I just wear concealer to cover up my dark circles in my nose. Because I put makeup on my nose, so. Okay, I'm going to do concealer now. I haven't used this one before. It's a big sponge applicator. But if you look up, but put your head down, just look up. Um, I do a bit there, and I do a bit there, and I'll, I'll do the rest of it after. Okay, it's dry or something. It's nice and cold. I always forget how light it is, but before you put it on, to get rid of the, the initial, a lot of it. But, um, spongy. That's weird. I know. I feel like I want to close my eyes. Don't close your eyes. Is it okay? Um, you have to have them open, oh. so I don't get it in your... I get right up in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't panic, it's fine. <laughs> I can't help going to my head. It's fine. Don't move away. I'm trying not to. Mom doesn't really like people touching her face that much. I think I'm doing. Yeah, you're doing well considering you don't like people touch your face. Do you know why? Why? Because when I was in my push chair when I was little, old ladies used to come up to the push chair and pinch my cheeks. So what people do to me now? And so I've developed a thing over the years, many, many years. I'm all that old, you know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Because I was really little and I had short curly hair. Yeah. And big cheeks and massive jaw. Mm. I so I yeah. liked to do that. And it would really hurt because they'd get my jawline and really squeeze it like that. Why would they squeeze your it's, jaw? It's always hurt when people do that. Why would they squeeze your jaw? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. Why would you go like that? I don't know. <laughs> I, think they were, I think they meant well. Yeah, obviously, you're not going to go out and like, oh yeah, I'm going to hurt this kid today. It's not like the aim in life, is it? No, they, they meant well. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. The second eye always turns out better because it's a bit drier. So it's less um, wet. And, um, so it's more sticky. I don't know why. But um, it's easier to work with after because it doesn't turn out as um, smushed. Um, I do like having my makeup done though. Yeah, I know. We were saying before. I think it's more fingers coming towards the face like that. More your eye. Yeah, I guess a bit. So. It's a lot easier when it's yourself because. Um, don't panic. I'm not <laughs> panicking. You are. It's fine. This eye's done, basically. Just blend it out on the side because um, you want to. Sorry, I need to sit more. Yeah, it always looks really weird after. It will look fine after. Okay. It's just that it looks a bit crazy. Okay, I trust you, man. Trust the process. Okay. 
just the process. It will always look a bit white under and, and your eye. Okay. As well as with lighting and stuff, it's always going to look like that. But when I was um, well, a bit older than you, I used to wear a really, really pale foundation. Yeah. The palest. Why? No, I don't know. A bit, a bit darker now, I think. Have you wear darker foundation than I do. Um, and then I do that. I do that and then um, don't smile for a minute. Do that. And there. And that's it. That's all I put. Cool. You don't have like large eyebrows, so no. I put less on. I usually put more because I have like a big lid space. Do I have a small lid space? Yeah, a small lid space. Okay. This is how most of my friends do their makeup. I used to do my makeup like this. Really? Well, I mean, the the makeup that you guys do is really different because you have a brush for everything and all the different styles and techniques. We just used to get some blue eyeshadow, stick our finger in it and rub it across the lid and then go out. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> all my friends, like, we all do kind of similar, but not really because it's all a bit different. Because, um, like, everyone's got a different look and they like to do. This is the weird bit. Because <laughs> you, like, cover the whole nose and it looks really weird. Does everyone have a brand? Yeah, everyone's got their brand. My brand is Paleness. Okay. Because I look pale all the time. Do you serve Paleness? I serve Paleness. Okay. Everyone knows that, knows me from my heart. Yeah. And my hair. Because I dyed my hair last year. So, um, what made you do the heart? I don't really know. I thought I, um, I used to do two little ones under my eyes. Yeah. And then I stopped doing that because, um, I stopped really liking it, I got bored of it. Okay. But, um... Because, did you know that when I was in my 20s, I used to stick a star there, where the where the beauty spot is, there? Oh. Well, you told me that, I think, once. Maybe it was in your consciousness. <laughs> but, um, I really like Marina and the Diamonds. Ah. She has, like, heart. And that was like one of the things I tell people that I like, because when everyone asks me, why do you do it? I want to know. I guess it's from, you're inspired by her then. Yeah, I really like Marina and the Diamonds. Cool. Yeah. You're very pale. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so the next thing is loose powder. Um, it's... Always get a bit on the brush and then put it in the lid. So mm. it's gonna go everywhere at some point. So you might as well just put it in here. This will mellow out all the paleness, I by the way. Breathing it in. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. I should have stopped smiling. We just have pink pills. So oh, thanks. It will mellow out all the paleness because it'll blend it in with the rest of the skin. Okay. Because it's um. Lighter powder. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I use a light powder. But can you do this for a bit longer? <laughs> I like it. I know. <laughs> we had to do this at your event. When we did a burpee with Nathan. Oh yeah. Me and Nathan did it. Face brushing. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Have you got something on your sleeve? More fluff. Okay. Two 
two 13 year old face brushing. You did a really good job. Yeah. We had a, an event in Birmingham and we did an ASMR workshop. And it was in like a marquee yeah. in the big exhibition centre and it was full, full of people. And uh, I've got a nice snack there. So I remember the snack. Lots of ASMR community, lovely people there, and um, and at the end we did a little pop up spa, didn't we? And mm. you and your best friend Nathan were there, and um, you helped to do the spa. So you were in the face brushing area, weren't you? Yep, you did a very good job. And after we were all hungry, and you we can you were talking to everyone, and me and Nathan pushed around us in the suitcase. That was hilarious. No. I was talking to everybody. My mum could talk for England if you didn't know. <laughs> it's just a little um, clip just like five hours later. Me and Nathan are just hungry. Yeah, we did a vlog, didn't we? Mm. You were only little then. I was... I don't know how old I was. You're a now. I'm going to be 18 in a month today, mm. actually. A month exactly today. I don't know when this is going out. Sunday. Um, exactly today is my is gonna be a month till my birthday. How do you feel about that? I'm not sure. I'm gonna process it. <laughs> I don't think I ever. Okay. There you go. That's done. Just give me time. That's done. What do you think right now? Do you think it looks okay? I haven't looked in the viewfinder because it's very unprofessional to do so, Mia. Okay. Nope. Okay then. <laughs> for the first initial line to for your eyes to be open. So in ASMR world, this is like an episode of um, EastEnders or something, like the suspense moment. Yeah. Or, or um, Jeremy Kyle when you waited to find out who's the daddy. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't like Jeremy Kyle. Oh no, I don't like it. It's awful. Yeah. I find it funny. Good. Mm -hmm.
is the wonkiness of my life, I know anyway. Yours is never wonky. Yeah, it is, but whenever you just move, to move so fast, no one can notice anyway. <laughs> Crazy, don't do that. There's one wing. It'll look a lot better with eyelashes on anyway, but okay. It's gonna look different on your eye anyway, but hold on. On my eye. Your eye. Just filling in a bag of blues. Okay, now we have an eyeball. Don't forget the middle bit. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Keep your eye open. Don't raise your eyebrow. Don't. Yeah, don't. Um, keep your eyes still.
These are eye candy, London, London, cruelty free and vegan, and a British brand. So, and these are which type? Volumized lashes, latex free, lash adhesive included, but you're going to use yours. Okay, I use Duo. Sometimes boxes make a loud sound. So we did cut them down before, didn't we? And I took off about three from the inside. <laughs> Which, I'm not, I'm not sure if it was too much, but we'll see. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so what should I do? So, just take them off with this. Yeah. I use my hands, but that's because I'm, I put them on my hands anyway. Okay. But um, put like a thin strip of glue. So this is the right hand one. Yes, and then we leave it to dry for a bit. Yep. Okay. Okay, so if I use the mirror from here. Look at your self. Stay there. Okay. Will it be ready? Thanks for
does complete the look though. She was really surprised when I told her I wear eyelashes now. She was like, I think that's pretty. Okay, you can do the same with the other one. Just put it like where the eyeliner stops and starts. I see what you mean. Thank you. Don't cut off your eye. Yeah. And just make it look smaller. Okay. It's not bad. Nope. Stop. There we go. Oh, let's just fix all the mistakes. Those are eyelashes on, and then you want to put mascara on so the actual lashes like blend in with the. Okay. It's kind of weird sticking your eye. <laughs> this is the hard bit, isn't it? I know. Yeah, be still. Sorry. <laughs> If you move, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> there we go, it's fine. I don't put any on the bottom anyway. Because it's going to um, go everywhere. Okay. So that's done. Go near the eyeball anyway. And now we do contour. Okay. Contour. Yeah, big brush. I usually use just an angle brush. But I use this anyway. This contour palette, I'm just kind of rubbing it on. I think I just use that brush because it's quicker. Yeah. Don't laugh. <laughs> you have to keep doing it, otherwise, it doesn't work. Side. That reminds me of when I had Bell's palsy <laughs> and when I used to smile like this. <laughs> Do that with the other side. Always have it following upwards. Okay. So your face is going to look like So I only use one colour. I use quite a lot of it. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm quite aggressive with the amount of blush I use. Alright, so
There you go. You have a pink nose now. It's not weird. No. Okay. If I don't do it on my face, I think my face looks weird. Hmm. I think my face looks really weird without it. Without the nose. Mm -hmm. If I do my makeup. and empty the bin and the cat followed me and she knocked your um, makeup off the table yeah sorry it's fine and then I have a brush so just do that okay do that again it's gonna look really really bright but it's fine other side Have you decided if you're going to do the pointy bits in the middle? Or is it not my brand? I don't know if you have enough space. Hmm. You have very like I'm not saying your eyes are close together, but like yeah. they're not it's not like a like a lot of space there to do it. Yeah. So I feel like it'll be fine without. Okay. Good. Okay, now last thing. Last thing. Do that after the whole okay, sorry. Okay. So on this side, please, miss. Yes. Okay. I have never done this on another person before. Okay. Shall I do that? Okay. So this is really important that you stay still. Upstairs and I took it back. So, and then this I only put like so that in the middle. You do that. And then I do the side a bit. Do that again. And I just go over my hand. Just, just go over my hand.
Wasn't too bad considering I haven't done it on anyone else ever. I think you've done a great job. Thanks. I'm just blown away by how different it looks on me than it does on you. Because you don't really look like a lot like me anyway. Mm. <laughs> when you were a baby and I used to push you around Greenwich Park. <laughs> used to look in the pram and say to me, are you her child minder? How long have you been looking after her? Uh, I After her. After her. So we hope you enjoyed our video together and this little uh, professional makeup session from Mia. Um, we'll see you in our next video together which will be Facial, something like that. Mm. Yep. Shall I do your face? Yep. Okay, that'd be nice. And um, I'll see you again soon. Lots of love and good night. night.